Hi, I'm Mr. Tie-Dye, and today I'm going to be showing you how to tie the yin-yang design. So, what I've done to start with, I have a shirt that's been soaked in soda ash, spun out, so it's just barely damp. I've turned it inside out, and I've centered it. And there's a video on centering shirts if you need that. Um, once I centered it, I drew a line all the way from the very top of the collar down to the very bottom, and I measured that distance divided that in half and I got me a center point of the t-shirt and then I have now two sections so those sections should be equal and I've measured and put a center point on both of those so now what we're going to do from that point I have my marker and I've just tied a little slip knot on it and looped it over this is just a washable marker you can get a washable marker, crayon, pencil. Uh, pencil doesn't always wash out, but if you're working on the inside, it's not quite as thing, but I like the washable markers. So I'm going to start with my first center point there. And this one, the way I do it is I find the spot starting at the center there where the marker is going to reach the top and the bottom. You want to make sure your shirt's nice and flat and you can adjust that out just however much you need it once you get to the point where it reaches the top and the bottom then you can start drawing so I'm gonna just draw this line out and it should come all the way down to the center spot there and now you can fill in the gaps once you're done with the first line Bring that down all the way to the bottom. There's your initial yin yang shape. And then to get my circles, what I do is I use just one of my dye bottles. Make sure that the bottom of it is washed off so you don't leave dye rings on there. And then I kind of center it up. This here you have to kind of eyeball. But I set it down over the center of that dot. And then I'll get a two different color markers here, just to make it obvious that we're working with two separate colors on each of the colored dots. Draw that around. Put that one away. And you can make these bigger or smaller. I just happen to like the size of the, the dye bottle for my circles. So I centered that up. Draw that around, and then I have my yin yang. Okay, and then for the tie in of the yin yang, I'll use my string again here. This time we'll tie a new slip knot in there. I like to have that ready. I turn the shirt sideways and I fold it in half right along that center line. Now I have my two little circles here that I'll fold up and tie off. And if you have a slip knot ready to go, once you get it tied, then you can just slip that on there. So you just fold along the lines here. Let's see if we can zoom in. Okay, sorry for that glitch there. I pushed the wrong button. So I'm just folding this up here so I'm just keeping my lines straight here on the top so I keep putting my hand right in the way and once you get your circle folded tie that off Next one, and I'll do the same thing here. Fold that up. Okay. So 
Lay that one off. Okay, now at that point, we can open this up. And we have our two circles tied off here. Last thing we have to do is just fold this line. So what I'll do is just a simple accordion fold. Starting down here at the bottom and then I just work my way all the way up. And I just like to keep that line right on the top of my folds here. And I like to keep straightening the shirt out and have the line that I'm folding kind of straight at me. So I can just keep working, gathering that line up. And this will just help straighten out your yin yang. I've dyed a bunch of them and sometimes they come out crooked. But I found once you measure, center things out, then you get a nice even yin yang. I know they said you wouldn't need math anymore, but you got to use math a little bit in tie dye. I find myself every now and then use a little bit of math to figure out how to fold something. Okay, once we get all done here, I almost lost it. Then we can tie that off, and then I'll just scrunch up the rest of this. So. We'll go into fast forward mode here because I'm basically going to tie this and then I'm just going to scrunch this and tie it all up. Okay, now we're going to dye the yin yang. <clears throat> and I like to have a nice separation between my colors, especially if I'm using contrasting colors. And today I'm going to dye with green and orange. So I want a nice separation between them. So I'm going to use my black. So we'll just put a line right along that line that we folded and tied. This is the center line of the yin yang. And you don't have to do this. You can just dye half of the shirt one color and half another color and then do the opposites in your two little spots here but like I say I want some separation so I'm going to put a line of black and then I'm going to line the the rings do the same thing with those my dye is leaking here okay so now I'm going to Carefully put my ring on here. So I'm just outlining where I drew that circle at and tied it off. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. small parts I like to use the small bottles because you don't want to take a chance on your big bottle dripping too much dye. So I'll start with the, the little spots first. Get those dyed up. And then we'll do the opposite over here. And this will give you a nice yin yang design. First time I folded the yin yang, I did just the symbol on the t-shirt and I used a half a dozen <laughs> clothespins and clamps and stuff just trying to hold everything together. I felt like I needed an extra set of hands. This here makes it much easier if you just turn the whole shirt into a yin yang. So now where I have my green dot, I'm going to dye that side in the orange. 
and then we'll do the orange dot. We'll do that side of the shirt in the green. And that'll be your yin yang design. Okay, let's fast forward. That's all I'm going to do is just I'll flip it over. I usually will hold it to put the die on just so that I don't fold my two spots over and get die on there. So we'll be back in fast forward mode. <laughs> 